Here's an idea. No single generation of Pokemon is better than the other. Pokemon is one of the best franchises. Think about it, how is Pokemon not the ultimate childhood fantasy? You get to go on an adventure by yourself where you get to meet a bunch of super-powered pets that you get to keep for yourself. And not just like a few superpowers, but pretty much anything you can imagine is within this world. Pokemon is cool is what I'm saying. So Pokemon was a great part of our childhood, but there's no actual inherent value to like a previous generation. The problem is literally you just grew up. The basic reasoning behind why we like Generation 1 more than anything else is nostalgia. We're not just enjoying them because they're fun, we're remembering the enjoyment we had as a kid and that nostalgia connection just makes it so much more fun to reconnect with this. Whereas if we go and look at new generations, we don't have the same effect. There feels a disjunction between the two because we don't have that nostalgia. And so they've become unfamiliar and alienating to us when really there's no actual difference. And when you think, well, that's right, there isn't a difference. Difference. It's unoriginal. Well, there's actually no particular value to originality. It's all part of a game mechanic. It's a video game. There's Rattata, which in Generation 1 is your simple, weak Pokemon that you encounter early on. It's very unlikely that you're going to keep it all the way through because you're probably going to find something better that you like. Now, this game mechanic is very important in the game, so that's why it's repeated with like Pat Rat, Zigzagoon, Bidoof, and Sentrant. I mean, they all serve the same function, it's just that they've got similar aesthetics, because naturally, they're gonna be sort of rodent-type Pokémon wherever you go. Where- why wouldn't there be a rodent-type Pokémon? There's this really false understanding of originality that means it is inherently better than its successes, when, no, if you go back and look at, like, Pokémon Yellow, it's- it's good. I mean, it's fun. But it's flawed. Limited bag space, limited moves, you couldn't breed anything. Slow pace, you can't reverse trainers. Like the list goes on of cool things that they've introduced in new games. If we just look at generation 3, we find that it's still the same basic core idea of Pokemon, only now you can reverse trainers. You've also got another type which makes it more interesting for different types of battles, you have to think more. You've got natures which allows your Pokemon to change their stats differently depending on what they're like. Berries, all kinds of interesting new features. But like would that still be interesting if you had the same old world to explore with the exact same Pokemon like years and years later? Some people feel an issue with the new generations as they're repeating themselves But if they w didn't put new generations, they would seriously be repeating themselves Why are people bagging on a video game for having similarities from its previous incarnations? I don't hear the same criticism for other games like Final Fantasy, which is the same game over and over again how many spiky haired protagonists with unwieldy weapons do you really need? People need to stop treating the games as if they're this singular monolithic idea that you're like, ooh, every other version of this is an inferior version of the original. No, you have to think of a genre that is sort of just being changed slightly. It is the genre of Pokemon, and it has a few certain tropes which it has to adhere to, which is the adventure, the gym battles, and finding the Pokemon, but we kind of have to change it slightly every now and then so we can sort of have a new experience while still adhering to that genre of Pokemon game. That's why each generation is different, but the same. There isn't a point where it has actually damaged itself. Just your opinion has changed because of the way you looked at it. I don't understand why you're insanely critical about this, probably because it's part of your childhood and you have fond memories of the series, but if you go back and watch it, it's... Ash is dumb. Ash is super dumb, like... He's super dumb. There's an episode where he climbs a super dangerous mountain and he kills himself and his Pokemon for no other reason than it was there. He didn't even have to go there. He was a fork in the road and he's like, what's that way? And Brock is like, it's a mountain, but I don't think we should go there. And he's just like, well, let's do it anyway. And they don't even listen to what's on the other side of the road. It's just, what is wrong with you, Ash? You were so stupid. And another criticism that keeps coming up of later generation Pokemon is how ugly they are. Um, hello? Mr. Mime? Like, Mr. Mime, guys, Mr. Mime. Why are we ignoring that? We get it, Trubbish is literally a pile of rubbish that has come back to life. And what about Grimer? There is no point where you're like, well, these ones are uglier than the previous ones because I retort, Mr. Mime and Jinx. There isn't actually a difference, it's just Pokemon being consistently Pokemon. I mean, yeah, there's an ice cream. You realize that Voltorb is a Pokeball come to life? There's no point where you think, this is art, man. First generation was art. No. 
No, plus Mr. Mime, like, can we, can we really not, like, understate how freaky Mr. Mime is? Like, why does he look like a person? And they're intelligent too, like, have you ever noticed, like, does Mr. Mime ever think that he's one of us? Does anyone ever, like, think, yeah, that's close enough to being a person? Yeah. No, Mr. Mime is... Ooh. Pokemon has always been stupid. Like, it's great. It's a great fantasy. It's wonderfully cool, but it's always been stupid. And that's only really been protected by the fact that we grew up as children, and we have this nostalgia. Nostalgia puts our treasured memories in a glass box, endlessly preserving them and warping them to a pleasant view. Whereas not having that nostalgic value to compare to something else, it just looks like a tacky sort of knockoff of it. When it isn't, it's just the natural progression and continuation of a series that we loved. I gotta admit that I didn't actually get into the video games until Generation 3, so even though I'd stopped watching the series, Generation 3 is very nostalgic for me, far more so than like Pokemon Yellow. So these new generations really just serve the same purpose as previous ones, only to a new generation of kids, really. One day, like 10 year olds now, when they're our age, they're gonna be so nostalgic for like X and Y, because that's the beauty of it. It keeps appealing to that childhood fantasy of having super powered pets and going on adventures. And so it's gonna keep doing that. There's no way to judge which generation is better without having your perspective warped by when you grew up and which generation you were first introduced to. Instead of thinking which generation is better, think how cool is it that this has been part of my childhood and it's going to be part of other people's childhood. It's just going to keep giving new generations the same experience of, wow, this is so cool, because it's a game franchise that actually remarkably gives you that experience over and over again to relive your childhood, and uh, you can either dive into that, or you can complain about how it's not just the same, or it is the same, but it's raw, it's not original. I, for one, want to revel in my childhood nostalgia and continue my uh, commitment to that series, not sort of put the original on a pedestal where nothing will ever attain the same ability as it to entertain me. Why the elitism? Except for the Elite Four. Okay, I need to stop. Catch them all, Pokemon trainers, and goodbye, YouTube. Here's an idea. Pokemon... <laughs> That's my idea. No. Our adventure begins again in Canberra, in this totally random and unimportant building, which I can only assume is an art gallery because of all the art on the walls. And this isn't even my house. What the fuck? Who the hell Why are you? It's fine. It's just a YouTube video. This is an empty room.